And what happens with age, with UHT milk, is you get formation of these gels, and that's a result of the formation of amyloid fibrils we've discovered. So our interest in these two proteins can be directly related to what occurs in these diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, type 2 diabetes, where in which you get these deposits of amyloid fibrils, which are different proteins than what we see in milk, but the same types of structures. So normal milk is pasteurised, which is a very sh short, a few seconds heating to about 90 degrees Celsius. UHT milk is heated at 140 degrees Celsius for longer, up to 10 to 20 seconds. And as a result of that, that leads to structural changes in the proteins, casein proteins mainly, and that then leads to the gelation phenomenon that occurs uh, over a period of months. So understanding the structures that are formed uh, from these two milk proteins is directly analogous to what occurs in these diseases uh, where we get uh, amyloid fibril formation. So understanding the process of amyloid fibril formation will help us potentially in understanding what causes these diseases and treatments to prevent the aggregation from occurring. And in the long term, this will lead to the opportunities for us to develop therapies for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, type 2 diabetes and other protein aggregation diseases, which are all age-related and are big problems for the ageing population in this country.